everyone, it's Christine again and today I'm going to do a quick demo rather than a tutorial of how to use a watercolour effect on a cake. I'm going to be using a sugar flare uh, paste uh, known as gel in America, just a very very little um, amounts of it for watercolour effect and uh, a bit of vodka and that's that. And here is just a really the basic very very simple techniques that I use uh, with two only two different brushes. The beauty of non-specified freehand watercolor is that as long as you get your composition roughly right and leave enough space for whatever else you need to go around or inside it, you're pretty much uh, free to just experiment with it and go with it. I felt that for this particular design and for these sizes of flowers etc, uh, the number one brush would be perfect. So here I'm only using two number one brushes, the longer one allows for kind of a different uh, kind of a curve. Uh, the two brushes in the middle are not actually what I'm using, but they are uh, also really handy little brushes. Uh, the half size, the green one, is fantastic for little details and things like our little eyelashes and figurines and things. And the white one in the middle is good because it's synthetic, it washes off so easily, it's very cheap and it's good for uh, playing around with and um, perhaps mixing things etc. So yeah, very handy. And this is, in a nutshell, pretty much how it's done, something as simple as this. I, I'm not much of an expert on hand-painted cakes, I'm only just starting on it, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd document it. It's not always possible to mention everyone I use as an inspiration, or as a very close inspiration, but I always try to pin the stuff that I'm using uh, on my Pinterest boards, or go have a look at my Instagram. I tend to follow people who I think are fabulous artists and whose art translates well into cakes, cakes medium. Um, and um, this is it. Thank you for coming back and watching my video or popping in. Do subscribe and see you again soon.